What's going on everyone? This video is gonna be a little bit different than the normal videos. Uh, normally I focus on craft. Um, I'm gonna be out here, I guess, using some of the knives that I make in the videos, so I think that kinda goes hand in hand and I hope this doesn't throw you uh, too much of a curveball. But I'm out in uh, the New Mexico wilderness with my brother, my dad, and our friend Nate. We're gonna be here for a few days, so I'm just gonna take you along. All right, so we are slinging hammocks for this trip. So a lot of times we will either be in the dirt or in a tent or whatever, but this time all of us have hammocks, so it's gonna be a little bit different, but it's nice because there's not a whole lot of level ground here. You guys know Josh. You've seen him on the channel before. I think you guys have probably, have you been on Craft Shop I have before? No idea. I don't think so. The, uh, us three have an old YouTube channel called American Wilderness. I know some of you guys follow that channel, and this is probably a video that um, would normally be on that channel, but the channel is kind of dying right now, but uh, I think some of these other guys might try to bring it back. All the creek beds are actually dried up out here we did find one area that's got some standing water that we're going to be able to use we have to be careful out here because there's a high fire warning everything is so dry right now we're not actually going to be having an open fire unfortunately we might practice some friction fires and that kind of stuff but all of our water all of our food is going to be over a camp stove so that kind of puts a damper on stuff i really like the aesthetic of a campfire but it should still be a fun time I'm really glad we all have uh, a chance to come out here and do this right now because a couple days after I get home from this trip, I'm actually going to be moving up to Michigan like you saw in the last video with my girlfriend. I would just like to occasionally show off um, the products that I make on this channel, uh, the knives in particular. I'd like to be able to show them in use. I think that kind of goes hand in hand with the uh, crafting of them. And I hope this video isn't too much of a curveball for you guys. You'll see that there. That's a pretty deep cave. How deep did that go? Oh, it's nice and cold in here. Yeah, that's about it, I guess. <laughs> right there. <laughs> I don't know. We went pretty deep.
that smoke would be like. Uh, we're on our way up to a lookout tower, but we didn't quite make it because uh, our uh, tire pressure light came on and we actually blew a tire. We're up in the mountains changing the tire right now and it's raining and I hear thunder, so we're trying to get this wrapped up real quick before it really starts coming down on us. All right, just made it to the lookout tire, or tire, God damn it! <laughs> just made it up to the lookout tower. The tire has been uh, fixed, and it's time to explore this sweet lookout tower. Very cool place. If you ever get a chance to come out this way in New Mexico. Life is old, man. All right, so it is the last day. Um, it's morning time and we are packing up and getting ready to get out of here. I wanted to show off the knives that we brought on this trip. You saw this one in use a little bit. This is the one that I brought. It's uh, a Timberly Woodland Puko model, the Scandinavian grind. I think that's focusing for you. I think uh, this style of grind is supreme for uh, forest uh, tasks. I mean, it's great for great for woodworking and all that kind of stuff. It really bites in. This is the knife that Josh brought. This is another Woodland Puko. This one's kind of got a bit of a three-tone handle. A little bit different, but it's got the same Scandinavian grind. And you can see these grinds held up great. And these all have their leather sheaths, of course. And I have a video on my channel going over how to stitch leather sheaths but I do have an update video coming up on that because the last one is pretty old. This one here is the knife that Nate brought. This is, an, this is a very old Timberly knife. This is when we kind of first started doing this. And uh, this one also has that Scandinavian grind and uh, held up just fine. This is the knife that my dad brought. This is one of our shark fin models and this one has a flat grind. This model's been pretty popular lately. <clears throat> it's nice to be able to bring knives in that I've made and actually put them to the test and see how well they hold up. So it just makes me have a lot more confidence in the product. I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. I know that it's a little bit of an oddball from the other stuff that I post. My channel is completely focused on craftsmanship and a large part of that being hand forged knives. I think it's really cool to be able to show how they're made but I think it's a whole nother aspect to be able to show them in use. So I hope you found this video interesting. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe 
and stay tuned because the next video is going to be in the brand new workshop. So it should be a pretty cool platform for videos.